Now, sometimes when you plug the purple programmer in for the first time, uh, the system will automatically try to load the default drivers for the little purple programmer, which are called Fab ISP. Now, the problem with Fab ISP is it's not 100% compatible with the Arduino software, so we have to load in a better driver. And I'm going to go through the process of showing you uh, how to do that, but first let me show you what happens when you leave Fab ISP in there. If I was to go to File, and let's say I was to go to Examples and Basic Digital Examples, and I wanted to load up Blink, and I'll just close that original folder and open this one up. And I can see that I've got my right board loaded, the AT Mega 328 board. And I can see I have the right programmer loaded, USB Tiny. So I'm excited to continue. Uh, I want to get the full experience. So I usually go preferences and I make sure that uh, show verbose output during compilation and upload is, is checked. It just gives you more information when it's actually doing the uh, downloading. So I'm going to go here, I'll sketch. I'll go to sketch and upload using programmer. And then you get an error similar to this. The selected serial port does not exist or your board is not connected. Well, my board is connected. I have it right here connected to my, uh, my USB, but it doesn't recognize Fab ISP. Got to get rid of it. So how do you do that? Easy squeezy. You go to the device manager. So oops, device manager like this and you run it and you will notice there's a little uh, uh, entry under other devices called fab isp and it's got an exclamation point which is never good you double click on that and it says uh, the drivers are not installed it's not happy this is terrible so get rid of it go to driver and uninstall device and it says you're going to uninstall fab isp it says totally going to uninstall fab isp all right. At this point, I'm going to also unplug my USB port, so no longer it's no longer connected to the uh, to the computer, and Fab ISP all gone. Now I'm going to go back to uh, the JCM Education website and back to initial setup for programming, and go down to uh, the step that says set up the tiny ISP programmer. And I'm going to click on this link. And this link is going to bring up the uh, wonderful Adafruit site. So many resources. Uh, and in there, I'm going to choose Adafruit drivers, okay? And it's going to download the Adafruit drivers uh, installation program. We can double click on that to run it. And it asks you, you want to install it. You say yes, uh, agree to their terms and conditions. And it says, which ones do you want? Well, the one I want is this USB tiny ISP. So I just really need to click this second one. Uh, you can click all of them if you want, but that's the second one's the one we need. And uh, it's completed. So we close this and now the driver's ready to go. At this point, I'm gonna take my little uh, my Samurai and it's a little purple programmer and I'm gonna plug the USB port into, um, into, this, into the computer and we're gonna open up that device manager again. I just wanna see if it's okay. So if I go to device manager, there it is. And it's plugged in right now and you notice there's this new entry called library USB Win32 devices, USB Dyni. And it's no exclamation point, it's a happy, happy camper. You go to drivers, uh, you can see it's all working perfectly, working properly, this is what you want. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we'll just, we'll just go ahead and cancel out of that, and cancel out of that. And now let's go back to our Arduino software and we'll try uploading it using the programmer again. And it does its little compile. And now look, you can see it's writing and it's verifying by reading back the programmer. And it says AVR do done. So now the program is downloaded into my robot and the little blink program is actually blinking. Okay, so that's what you do to uh, reinstall the correct driver for the little purple programmer. Email me if you have any questions or concerns.